Oh, saya merasa bangga karena konvensional dengan SRI lebih hasilnya lebih banyak SRI daripada dibanding dengan konvensional. Atas penyampaian saya, saya sangat bangga benar ini Pak dengan adanya hasil tanam Sri. A quiet revolution is taking place on many farms around Indonesia and the world. Farmers like you have been able to increase the yield of their rice crops by 50 to 100 percent per hectare. But without the use of expensive chemicals, fertilizers or sprays, or expensive new seeds. In fact, it involves no new technology or science. The methods used are modifications of the age-old practices you have done for years. But the results are spectacular. This video has been made to teach you about these new techniques so that if you wish, you can use them to improve your farm and your rice yield, so that you can in turn benefit by having more food and greater income for you and your family. Around the world, as populations increase and more and more land is swallowed by the cities, there is an ever greater need for farm production per hectare to increase. Indonesia is a good example. Despite having millions of hectares of land producing rice, there is currently an annual 5 million tonne short supply in this country. They are not alone. Other countries also struggle to feed their population. Perhaps the best possible solution for increasing rice production has been found and is the subject of this video. The System for Rice Intensification or SRI, has been developed as a method of increasing rice production for farmers. It was developed from initial research completed in Madagascar, but has spread worldwide. The bulk of this video was completed in Indonesia, where SRI methods were trialled by ADRA, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, in conjunction with the Indonesian rice research team at Sukamandi, following success achieved internationally. EDRA is a humanitarian organisation with a genuine desire to help others improve their life and their standard of living. The techniques we will teach you involves no new seeds and no new fertilisers or sprays, just a change to the centuries-old way that you grow rice. And the results are excellent. Farmers can generally increase their yield by 40 to 50% and up to 300% increases in yield have been heard of. Whereas in the past you may have used 50 to 100 kilograms of rice seed per hectare, now you might use 5 to 10 kilograms per hectare. So there are cost savings from using these techniques. Also, our aim is not necessarily that you grow more rice, but if you are using less land to grow the same amount of rice, then you will have more land for growing other crops such as green vegetables, which you can feed to your family or sell. Some of the farming techniques you see in this video may not be specifically applicable to you. Each country differs to some degree in how it grows rice. What is important is the SRI methods and how you can apply them. We also want you to experiment with the techniques, perhaps on a small plot of land first, and prove that they work for you. In Kupang in West Timor, Indonesia ADRA staff were able to convince only four of 250 farmers in one area to trial just a small amount of their land using SRI techniques. The farmers were laughed at early on because the results appeared poor. But at harvest time, these fields were exceptional and the harvest was huge. Afterwards, 200 of the 250 farmers converted to using SRI techniques for growing and one of the initial four farmers converted his whole crops to SRI. These new methods of rice growing have been derived from techniques developed in Madagascar in the early 1980s. The techniques have now spread to 16 different countries, including Myanmar, Cambodia and Thailand, and the methods have been adopted by over 60,000 farmers worldwide. Here is what a few Indonesian farmers had to say about SRI. Ya, dengan adanya Sri ini saya merasa gembira karena yang tahun-tahun yang lewat saya tanam dengan secara tradisional ternyata hasilnya kurang memuaskan. Hanya maksimal rata-rata itu satu hektar mencapai 4 ton. Itu sudah maksimal. Dengan adanya metode Sri ini saya merasa senang sekali karena apa? Tiga kali 
8 meter aja sudah mencapai 12 kilo, 6 kg. Ini satu jenis tanaman, cuman lain pelakuan. Yang ini SRA, yang ini konvensional. Cuman kalau dilihat dari perbandingan antara SRI dengan konvensional, memang SRI lebih bagus, terutama dari panjang malai, dia cukup panjang. Terus ini dari ukuran malai biji lebih banyak, anakan lebih banyak, akar lebih panjang. Itulah kelebihannya SRI dengan konvensional. Jadi untuk ke depan ini saya ingin mengembangkan terus SRI. Jadi saya sebenarnya dengan adanya masuk uh, Sri ini, Sri ini uh, petani kami, kelompok kami khususnya sudah mau melaksanakan dan mengajak tetangga-tetangga uh, istilah kelompok tani yang lain untuk mengikuti uh, tanaman sistem Sri ini. The techniques involved in SRI are designed to simply allow a stronger plant to grow in the field. Stronger plants have stronger growth and greater yield. There are logical scientific principles behind these techniques that we would like to teach you. It is important for you to understand these also, to see how and why the methods work.